I wanted to go over my little kiln and some features of it. Uh, it's a small natural gas fired IFB kiln that updraft that I made using what I had on hand. Uh, I did have to buy a rolling cart. So the kiln is built on top of this rolling cart and I can wheel it out of my door in the back. Uh, that, that plywood thing is a ramp I put a, over the threshold and wheel the kiln out of the uh, out into the backyard where I have a gas line. Um, single layer IFB brick the aluminum foil stops leaks or helps prevent uh, air leaks. It's held sort of reinforced with um, cable that goes around uh, the angle iron or angle angled stainless steel angle pieces here are just what I had and they're just there to uh, help keep the cable from digging in and breaking my brick. And the cable just goes over to these clamps and I can tighten it uh, as, I, as I need to. Helps keep the whole piece together. Um, the lid is just composed of these bricks held together with pipe clamps. Um, it's sort of a temporary permanent <laughs> thing. Um, they do a pretty good job and, and, and it's nice because the bricks don't get ruined if I want to unclamp them and reuse the bricks for anything I can. I don't have to drill a hole through them and make a permanent lid system. Um, so this is pretty versatile. The disadvantage that I have right now is these clamps are just a little bit too long with the handles of the clamps to get through the door. So I can't roll it out with a lid on, and uh, which is unfortunate. I would like to be able to roll it in hot and let it cool inside the garage and warm up the garage, but that's probably a bad idea anyway because uh, the pots would probably break as I move the kiln over the door. It probably the shells would probably fall. In any case, I have to take it apart to roll it in and out the door, and that's a, kind of annoying. Um, another design feature is these two bricks here. Rather than just make a flat a flat lid, it stair steps up, so it's a lid piece up, lid piece, lid piece down, lid piece. Um, and I put a little few bricks where the step is to help to help give it more insulation. And that is to create a little gap here, a little extra air space, one brick high, so that if I stack a, a shelf that goes to there, I don't stall my kiln. There's still a little bit of a space here that allows the flame room to travel. And that um, pretty important step because I tend to stack the kiln all the way to the top. And because this kiln has kind of this crappy lid, it, it little clay bits drip or lid bits, brick bits flake off and drip down onto my pot. So I have to have a shelf on top to help block that and protect the stuff underneath. And having a single shelf on on the very top it, um, uh, impedes the, the fuel the, or the flame path. So I put those two bricks there, made the stair step lid shape uh, to to help with that. Um, burner system is natural gas burner system. Two MR750 Venturi burners mounted on a jack stand with a pilot and a thermocouple. Um, pretty basic setup. One thing I need to change is I need to add a valve to one of these burners like here uh, to be able to turn it off because two burners is too much. Uh, for most of it, especially the early stages of firing, I have a hard time slowing it down. Um, but, yeah, right now it works just fine, it just goes too fast. Um, so, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. It, the shelf size that it uses are what I had on hand again, 12 by 24 inch shelves. Uh, the shelves have about an inch and a half, two inch maybe, uh, flame path around them. They sit, I set them right in the center, except for the very bottom shelf. The very bottom shelf rests on those supports. It takes quite a bit of beating from the flame, so it's cracked, uh, but it's still, still able to support the shelves above it, especially because I have so many supports in the bottom here. A couple extra ones there to help reinforce it. Um, the bottom, really, the bottom probably ought to be made out of hard brick. These sh bricks are probably going to deteriorate, uh, but they're holding up for now. So the kiln works well. It fits the need I need. It's fairly cheap. It um, it's a gas, so I get the gas atmosphere. Fires very quickly. Uh, it works under a wooden porch because it doesn't have a stack. I can roll it out my door. 
Uh, can wheel it around and make room for things. Um, when I'm not using it, I take the lid off and uh, put a piece of plywood on top, and it's kind of a rolling table, an extra table. So it's very versatile, very inexpensive, very basic. I can take the thing apart and build it back together in a day if for some reason I need to. And um, so yeah, that's my little updraft garage kiln for my garage studio.